what we can do now is we can ask the question, what can the signal tell us? So right now it just looks like a bunch of bumps and wiggles. But really it turns out remarkably, given how ambivalent Einstein was about gravitational waves, the math that he wrote, wrote down gives us an enormous amount of information encoded in gravitational waves about the source. So the very first, so this is, this is a, a model of the same event that I showed data for a moment ago. And what we see here is that the, the, the frequency of this signal is changing. And what we can tell is that at early times, the two black holes were farther apart and were orbiting each other more slowly. And then as they get closer and closer to each other because the, of, of gravitational radiation, they orbit faster. And by looking at that change in frequency, how fast were they orbiting far away and how fast they're orbiting closer in, we can tell what the masses of the black holes were. Now similarly, if you look at the amplitude, you look at the size of the, the, the peaks, that's also changing. When they're far apart, the, the amplitude of the wave is smaller. And then as they get closer and closer together, the amplitude grows. And it actually gets to a maximum just when the two black holes touch. And so from that, the, the, that amplitude, we can tell how far the black holes were. And then finally, the two black holes uh, that have collided, they kind of just merge into one single black hole that wobbles for a little bit and then sort of quiets down. And by looking at that last bit of signal where, where the wobble uh, uh, quiets down, we can actually tell the mass of the final black hole. And when we put all of that information together, we we've uncovered a rather incredible system. The two original black holes were about 30 times the mass of our sun. So pretty heavy and a little bit of a surprise. We weren't expecting black holes to be uh, heavy in that, ma that heavy in that mass range. The, at the time that they actually collided, when, when, when they touched, they were whipping around each other at half the speed of light. So we have to take a pause here, right? This is, these are objects that are 30 times the mass of our sun whipping around at half the speed of light. Uh, again, I'll remind people, you really didn't want to be nearby. And it turns out, happily, we weren't nearby. It turns out that these, uh, the, these two, uh, this event happened 1.3 billion light years away. So it's pretty far out into the universe. Now, there's another really interesting thing that we, s we found. Remember, we could tell the mass of the final black hole. Well, it turns out that the mass of the final black hole was less than the mass of the, of the two original black holes by about three solar masses. And so in this fraction of a second, three times the mass of our sun was radiated away as gravitational wave energy. So it's a, it was, again, a very, very uh, powerful collision, if you will. For this brief instant, uh, if, if it was more powerful than all the shining uh, stars in the universe.